Aloha, my name is Jill Boy. I'm the proud principal here at Kailua Intermediate School, home of the mighty junior surf riders. The community that we serve here at Kailua Intermediate School is very diverse. We have all nine of the Kailua Elementary Schools feed into our campus. So we have students coming from um, Mokapu, which is a military base. We have a charter school, Ka'ohao. We have students in Kiolu Hills, in Manawili, in the Valley. With that, some of our challenges is helping everybody come together and feel like they belong. They come from relatively small elementary schools with the exception of Mokapu, which is a large elementary school, and they know everybody. They come here and now they don't know an eighth of the school. And so they're coming here at a time in their lives when already students feel awkward, uncomfortable, not sure how they fit in in life, period. And then now they're coming to this large school with people they don't know. We joined Compassionate Ko'olau Poco and through that process that Education Incubator led our group through here at K our KIS group, we took a really good look at our data and we focused on our social emotional data that the, the survey that the students took. What was heartbreaking when we looked at that data was the two lowest areas. The number one lowest area was their sense of belonging. Broke our hearts. Their second lowest area was their self-efficacy. So they felt like they couldn't do it, which there's the double whammy. And so that's why we decided, okay, what are we gonna do? So they took us through the design thinking process of what are ways we can address this issue? And we came up with this brainstorm on a jam board of all these ideas. And then one of the, the that came up was a summer bridge program and it addressed so many of the ideas. So last summer we started Ho'okohua, which means to lay the foundation, our summer bridge for our incoming sixth graders. But since there was a pandemic, we also had our seventh graders who were gonna be eighth graders allowed to join too. And we really just helped them get connected to this place, to Kailua. First, we start with the Ahu Pua'a, then we looked at Kailua, then we looked at KIS, and then we looked at themselves. We did a pre-survey, and then we did a post-survey. And what was interesting in that pre-survey, almost every student, I'd say more than 50% of the students, when asked, what are you hoping to get out of this program? They said they want to make friends. They want to, um, some said, I want to you know, build a tribe. I want to find a crew, you know, things like that. At the end, in the post-survey, everybody had positive responses and many of them said, I need friends or I have a new friend. I got a tribe now. You know, they just, they just want to feel like, you know, they got, they got people with them that got their back. Being a part of the Compassionate Ko'olapoko cohort really helped carve out that time for our team and they provided the resources and the skills with these different structures to help us really go through a process that was meaningful for our team. And they helped, uh, they helped shape every team's experience to what their needs were. So we really felt like the product we came out with was really meaningful for our school. And being a part of the cohort, the, another huge benefit besides for our team was getting to hear other teams journeys and what their ideas were what their struggles were what their what their growth areas were because then we could think get ideas like oh did you see what they did we should think about that we could incorporate that right here the process itself builds community it built our team it empowered our team and empowered our team to empower our youth you know, middle school is an awkward age. A lot of people dread it. A lot of people think, oh, it's just two years, just power through, you know. But instead, we want the mentality that they come in and say, ooh, you get to go to middle school. You get to go to KIS. Go there and go do great things. And they come out not only um, like, okay, I got through middle school. It's like, whoo, I got through middle school. I'm ready to take on high school. Let's go, you know, like they feel I can get to high school and I'm ready to not only be involved, but like change things, be change agents. So if we could spark that, they could really do great things and then carry the, those 
skills and that strength they found within up to high school and they'll be limitless. So I really am appreciative of Compassionate Koala Poco for making us carve out this time, giving us the space to really do something that we feel is meaningful, not only for our students, but beyond our students and for generations of students to come.